Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Friday, January 17th, 2020. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Have you ever heard the saying, don't quit your day job? Well, let me tell you something. If you're ever seen Kareth Bajo in the gym, you know right away that this guy has never quit or skipped out on anything in his entire life. A few days ago, video footage surfaced of Kareth cranking out a big weight for reps on the leg press as he starts to fine tune the final phases of his off-season program. Last year, he ended up being one of the big surprises at the New York Pro. So if he comes back this time around 5% better than he was before, he's someone who we could be talking about as a potential pro champion. Good things come to those who wait. But if I were Rafa Brandeo, I wouldn't make the good people of Brazil wait too long to see me. Because you don't want to light any matches inside the tinderbox. At the moment, we still have yet to hear anything official from Rafa's camp about his 2020 debut after a lot of buzz last season surrounding him competing at this year's Arnold Classic. Last year, Rafa was incredible, and in a lot of ways, he turned himself into a household name almost overnight. So if he's smart and he picks his spots correctly, his next move could end up being the one that lands him his first Olympia nod. Back in the day, people used to say that squats were the king of all exercises. So I guess that makes sense then that the queen of the women's physique division is giving her leg day the royal treatment. On Monday, Shanique's camp leaked footage of her gliding through a few clean reps under the bar, where I thought she looked as good as I've seen her in any off-season footage. At this point, Shanique Grant is like the Patrick Mahones of women's physique. Her talent is so unreal that when she gets it going, no one on the other side of the ball has a chance. So until she's given me reason not to, I'm booking her as my number one seed for the foreseeable future. More and more now, bodybuilding is becoming a sport of big athletes with even bigger personalities. But in all my years, I still have yet to see someone who can light up a crowd quite like NBA legend Shaquille O'Neal. Believe it or not, this week we actually saw Shaq, of all people, rip off his shirt and crank out a few poses after his workout. Now it's pretty safe to say that no one will be confusing Shaq with Phil Heath anytime soon. But for a 40-something year old Hall of Fame basketball player who just so happens to be 7 foot 1, he looks pretty good. So I say more power to you, big guy. Go ahead and let your inner Arnold break free. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.